yet another hyperparameter. So what do you have so far for hyperparameters? We have lambda, which is learning rate. We have k, which is the batch size. We have also um, the number of epochs. How many epochs are you going to run? That is a hyperparameter. That is one hyperparameter that you may decide on the fly. So you remember that we saw, if we look at epochs, and we look at loss, that we had a training loss, tends to go down, and then we have a validation loss, which tends to go down, but then start increasing. And again, this is the overfitting here. And so what we can do is actually choose the number of epochs. We might say, we're going to do this sort of formulaically. We're going to go ahead and continue until the validation loss starts increasing. And of course, we have to be careful to make sure it's not some, some little temporary uh, increase, that it's a general trend of increase.